Hello folks, today we're super excited to talk you through our favourite places to grab some vegan food in Barcelona. We spent a good amount of time here and have six places to show you. Oh, and if you're a sushi fan, you are going to love number one. So let's get to it. In sixth place is Pans and Company. We're starting off with quick and convenient. There are 16 of these sandwich shops located across Barcelona, providing a decent range of both vegan and veggie options. I chose their breaded Jura sandwich, which is like a mock chicken, and it packed some crunch. I, on the other hand, had their vegan brie and mock chicken baguette. It was tasty, but it really could have done with a bit more sauce. You can make it a meal, add in chips and a drink for a small fee, and if you're veggie, don't forget to also check out their counter full of baked goods. Overall, this place is cheap and available, and that's its main selling point. The food looked and tasted average, but with many locations across the city, it's not a bad stop for a quick bite. Fifth place goes to Babita. Are you a fan of tapas? Yeah! Are you a fan of paella? Yeah! Are you a fan of sangria? Yeah! Then maybe this is the place for you. Babita is an entirely vegan joint serving those very things. If you haven't already checked out our previous video trying the paella here, then tap the link popping up on your screen now. We tried two types of paella, one with mock chicken and one with mock prawns. Both of them were packed with veg and the rice was seasoned deliciously. I was particularly impressed with their vegan prawns. They had a very fishy texture which surprised me a lot. It was a nice and novel experience. But what I really need to talk to you about is their sangria. Offering many varieties of red, white and rosé sangria, which is what we had, there's absolutely no better place in Barca to enjoy a vegan drink in the afternoon sun. They also sell other things like salads and the presentation of the food and drinks here was phenomenal. Everything tasted great and at a cost of 12 to 15 euros per meal, it was very well priced too. Bottoms up! Fourth place goes to the Dirty Vegans. Located inside the Tino Pizzeria, this humble little sandwich spot is perfect for a takeaway lunch. The menu was comprehensive and had so many options to choose from, we really had no idea what we were going to go for. And they also offered gluten-free options too. We found a nearby bench and unpacked our goodies, and boy were we excited to try them. I had the cheeky caprese, which was loaded full of homemade pesto. It tasted delicious. And make sure you go on an empty stomach, because these sandwiches are huge. I chowed down on the Papi Polo, containing mock chicken, bacon, and avocado. This one, if anything, outweighed Kyra's. It was so delicious, so much flavor, and worth a little trek off the beaten path to find. They also served freshly baked sausage rolls, which were delicious, and gooey homemade brownies, which were oh so indulgent. Mine was so gooey that I had to actually eat it off the packet. To be honest, Kyra, I'm surprised we managed to eat this much food. As you can probably see from the images, it looked amazing, and it was a relatively cheap option for lunch too. Oh, and don't forget a napkin. Taking third place is Vegan Junk Food Bar. We saw the pictures and knew we had to stop her. The decor was bonkers but very endearing and the vibe friendly and appealing. The menu had all the things you might expect from a dirty burger joint with some very brash colours that might surprise you if you haven't seen the photos in advance. Starting with something a little more down to earth, the double cheesy smash burger that I had was made of two smash patties, vegan cheese and served in a brioche bun. As a big pickle lover, I very much enjoyed the generous serving of pickles. You have to order your fries separately. The ones that I ordered came served with this incredible mustard mayo, which I absolutely recommend. <laughs> I take your puny regular fries and I raise you an iconic rainbow fries. These fries were topped with everything from succulent mock fried chicken to an array of different colored sauces. If you're a fan of chaos, then this may be the dish for you. To summarize, beyond the incredible looking dishes, this food was pretty standard. But there's something about the visual aspect that really gives this place a lift. The price is also affordable and the location is good, not far from many of the downtown tourist attractions. In second place is Vegitalia. With two spots in Barcelona, this veggie vegan Italian place is a really convenient spot to grab a tasty meal. I had the Caesar salad and I loved every mouthful. The way that the sauce counterbalanced the pickles, vegan cheese and that hura on top. Oh, it was so delicious. I loved it. I had their paella. Again, like the one we had at Bovita, this one had hura in it. And it had even more flavour. 
really setting the standard for paellas I've tried in Spain. To summarise, we really enjoyed Vegetalia. It's probably the priciest place per head on this list so far, but it's absolutely worth every cent. There's a lot on the menu here for vegans, and there's even more for vegetarians, like the risotto my brother had that's popping up on your screen now. And in first place is Roots and Rolls. Just as promised, sushi lovers rejoice. This 100% vegan, authentic Japanese sushi bar is everything we've ever dreamed of. Now due to the sharing nature of sushi, there's going to be a lot of pictures popping up on your screen. From starters, like their delicious popcorn cauliflower, to their soy-drenched mushroom voyezes. But the main event was the sushi. We tried three different types of rolls, the geisha, the jumpin' jack and the avo makis. Our favourite was the Jumpin' Jack, which contained both Hura and barbecue jackfruit, crammed with a wide range of other items and topped with an eye made of sauce, just like a jack-o'-lantern. Mmm, so good. But Kyra won't forgive me if I don't also mention that they did an avocado brownie for dessert. It was so good! The food was stunningly prepared, earning itself a 10 out of 10, which is pretty rare by our standards. Though it was by far the most expensive place we ate out in Barcelona, it's left us wondering if it's the best vegan sushi out there. So if you know of anywhere else in the world, please let us know in the comments and we'll build it into our next trip. Do not miss this place next time you're in Barcelona. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already know, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and have a website where you can read an extended blog on this topic. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and check out our channel. We have lots more like this and even more in the pipeline.